Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, students, customers who buy caramel wafers. <laughs> it's a great pleasure to be here today and uh, very humbling for a, an, a simple baker who uh, managed to get into Alan Glen's school in Glasgow. And, and in those days it was in Cathedral Street. And uh, my late brother Tom and I managed to get in because my father knew the headmaster. And we, I was there, Tom was there for two years and I was there for five years. And uh, I was so clever that they allowed me to repeat the second year. <laughs> and when I got into the third year, after a month, I, I wanted to escape. So my mother said, OK, but you've got to go to college. So in those days, the, there was the West of Scotland College, it was full. And uh, the only college I got into was Whiteness College in Jamaica Street. And it was five floors up. And I was studying bookkeeping, typing, shorthand, various things. And after I got a certificate for eight words a minute, my mother thought it was time I was leaving <laughs> and typing. So I then went to the bakery and they say that's how things go. Little did I think today I would receive this degree from the university. Humble Baker, I'm pleased to receive this award and any award you give me, I'm delighted. <laughs> As you see, I started work in the shop, the back shop, when I was eight and I was tying up parcels and uh, learned to make up icing bags from a triangle of paper and you turn it around about, pop it in the centre. We're still making bags to that same idea today as they are all bakers in Scotland and all over the world. Anyway, I was in the bakery and I went to the night schools you heard for five years and managed to win a, the, the cup, which uh, was the Baker's Cup. I won it in 1950 and it was actually divided between myself and another a apprentice from our bakery, Archie Fleming. And it was only 10 years ago that I received a message from a, a lecturer at the college up at Motherwell to say, we've been cleaning out a cupboard and there's an old cup here with your name on it, would you like it? And I was astonished to discover actually I'd won it in 1954 as well. But of course I was away fighting for your better deal, you know, and I was there in the army. And uh, and. Anyway, I've got, I've got this cup in the office and I'll treasure it, as I'll treasure this degree I've, I've risen to today. I never thought it would rise to such great heights. And if I turn the page here and maybe see what I'm doing. <laughs> and when I was in the army, they came back from the army and father then said I was, I was five years a baker, two years a, 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 a cook, and I was actually cook sergeant for the last, acting paid cook sergeant for the last six months. And in the army, the, a sergeant was the best position of anywhere in the army because you get well paid and your uniform was provided if you were an officer to provide your own uniform and you were reasonably well paid. But anyway, I had great fun and it was a great learning curve as you have all learned today. Uh, and it's wonderful to, to uh, meet one of your senior personal, Lynn, uh, and her father con he contacted me for many years and he was a representative for a box making firm in Edinburgh and uh, Lynn Colbride name came back to me, that she is. And it was lovely to see here she is and she's giving her skill to the younger generation. And we've all got to pass on what we know because we're, we're not here for keeps. You know, I've got a long way to go yet. I'm only 83, and uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting a telly on from the Queen uh, when I'm 100. So anyway, but anyway, the, the best advice, advice I could give to the young people graduating today is, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. And friends, thank you, and good luck for the future. And there's a wee poem that goes something like this. Life's too short for greeting, or friends you can me. So leave it be and start again, the world's not going to end. You have time to plan so many things, all depends on you. 
So shake yourself, your racket loon, go up and do it now. Thank you. <laughs>